The metronome is arguably the strangest clock in the world. Most New Yorkers just pass by it in confusion. But what do these digits mean? And more importantly, what's the story? So, in this episode of Origins, we will take a look at the history of the metronome. The metronome is a clock and public artwork that was installed in Union Square in 1999. It was commissioned by the Related Company. For those of you who don't know, Related is the real estate development firm behind the Hudson Yards. The metronome came at a cost of $4.2 million, making it one of the largest privately commissioned art projects. The artwork was created by Kristen Jones and Andrew Ginzel. It consists of two major sections, the clock and a brick wall built in concentric circles. Let's take a look at each. The metronome clock is not exactly intuitive. It consists of 15 digits which, when you look at it as a whole, makes absolutely no sense. A bit of context, however, can help solve this mystery. The best way to start is by splitting those 15 digits into two parts. The eighth leftmost digit shows time in a 24-hour format. So the first two digits are hours, the next two are minutes, and the next four are seconds. The eighth digit basically represents a hundredth of a second. The seven rightmost digits display the amount of time remaining in that particular day. The clock also reads from left to right on the eighth leftmost digit and from right to left on the seven rightmost digits. So if the clock reads 1956 411 891 803 04, it means that the time is 7.56 p.m., 41.11 seconds, and that there are 4 hours, 3 minutes, 18.9 seconds left for the day. If this is not the most confusing clock in the world, then I don't know what is. If you know a clock more confusing than a metronome, be sure to post it on the Cityscape app for others to come see it. Now, moving on to the art piece, more formally known as the infinity and the void. The void is the aperture at the center. It emanates steam at noon and at midnight every day. The infinity is the wave-like pattern you see that ripples around the void. The rock you see at the bottom represents the geological history of the island of Manhattan. The hand at the top is George Washington's hands. It is a greeting to the people in New York City, but also symbolically stands for what you could do with your life. Your life is in your own hands. If you look at the metallic facade on the right, you will see a sphere. This orb turns daily in synchronicity with the full moon. When the moon reaches fullness, the entire golden face of the orb is revealed. While some people may complain about the price tag of this project, I personally like the metronome. It is full of mystery, has technical ingenuity, is chaotic, and pulses energy, which is what life in a city is about, organized chaos. It encourages people to take a pause and practice an old skill we have forgotten, observation, learning fresh from the pages of life. I also think it's healthy to come wonder at this art piece. For without art, we would all go insane. That's it for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more street information. And of course, don't forget to download the Cityscape app if you want to find cool secret spots in your city. That's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.